All right, guys, before we even get into today's video, I'm going to let you know that the video is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you've never heard of Skillshare before, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to be the plug today. I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about Skillshare and what it is. So it's an online community for creatives like ourselves. And when we talk about creatives, we're not just talking about YouTubers. We're talking about persons who maybe like cooking, who maybe like taking photos, whatever the case is. You're going to be able to find a lot of other creators who are going to teach you the tips and tricks on how they got to the level that they are at now. But anyhow, we're going to get in today's video where I'm going to show you how to use your iPhone as a really good tool to make really great content. Now, definitely stick around because in this video, I'm gonna be giving away something from Skillshare to you guys. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. Let me be quite honest with you. I just wanna pull this iPhone really quick. I don't even care about no unboxing, nothing, but I know people like seeing that. I love the box and the feel of this thing, so I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of it, start using the phone, and then tomorrow I'll actually shoot the vlog. So let's get into the video really quick. And uh, yo, I'm excited. All right, so I'm just on the floor really quick so you guys can see a little bit. I don't have the perfect setup, but the color that I got was the, the blue one. I had um, the gold iPhone XS, but I think gold is cliche. And again, you, you're not going to even see um, the back of the phone depending on the case that you have. So I got this. But yo, let me tell you, this is the plug. Literally, <laughs> it literally is a plug. Um, you don't know the the new iPhone doesn't come with the the charging brick, but this is their new model, which is a twenty watt um power brick. People are going crazy over this brick because it makes the phone charge a lot faster. So let's just pull that really quick. Um, for some strange reason, you're spending so much money on these phones, and iPhone doesn't give you um a fast charger with it immediately like um Samsung. But it is what it is. I've been an iPhone fanboy for a long time. Um, pulling this open really quick. I've always been a fan of iPhone packaging and stuff and yeah Typical brick, but definitely a little bit bigger than what it usually looks like. So That's that. All right now to unboxing little baby These boxes are so beautiful you don't even want to mess them up to be quite honest But who cares? I just need to use this tool that's what it is to me it is a tool um so there we oh wow wow look at that i don't know but i like this color and i like the fact that this color is i believe new to the iphone line so i am appreciative of that and this is my very first iphone that has three you know three cameras on it um my advice to be quite honest don't try to get every single new iPhone, you'll be wasting money. So what I do, I normally upgrade up from by at least two models up. This for me would be like two and a half models up because I had the iPhone XS and now it's at 12, but not just a 12, but it's at a pro. So anyway, let me pull that out really quick. That's what she said. Anyway, um, looking in here, as I said, they didn't come with any charging bricks or anything like that. So. You might as well you just buy the fast charging brick this is the lightning cable um yeah so it's not the typical usb cable that you normally get wow i don't even want to smudge the phone up but again <laughs> bro it's ridiculous yo look at that oh my god all right now with the design for me personally this design it's very reminiscent to the iphone 5 in terms of the the, the type of square rectangular shaping like the iPhone XS and the 11 was a little bit rounded um, Some persons complain that the new iPhones come out and they never quite look um, Like much different or futuristic, but I don't care. It's really for me It's what's inside and if the ergonomics of this works, it just works. So I love the color definitely in love with the color um, You know, I hate when people buy stuff and they don't peel off the thing at the back for me. It's just Clint, Kurt Yo. That's not like you Somebody who will have something at like the, the little plastic at the back and don't take it off. That's right. I hate seeing that. Especially on the until, until it drops off. Yo, I know somebody had it on a TV and yeah. the TV actually melted it on it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bit much. It's so dumb. But anyway, um, let's try to turn this device on. It turns on. Yo, and shout out to my boy Kurt to be quite honest, because I told him like, yo, pick the iPhone up for me. He had everything arranged, got it picked up from the store. So bless up Kurt. All right, there it goes. It says, hello, I'm Jamaican. So it should have really said Wagwan. 
<laughs> All right. Um, let's go into this. Don't know. It says English. A quick start. Um, let's just. Uh, I just want to use a damn phone. Got K star. And let's get the password really quick. Okay. It says try to activate a phone, but it couldn't be activated. Um, yeah, I had to stop the video to put in um, Kurt's Wi-Fi password because the password really was I get laid a lot, but he didn't want everybody to know that. Anyway, um, try you. Uh, let me, let's try this again. But whatever, this, this, this part doesn't even really matter. I'm going to get the phone set up and then we can start thinking about vlogging. All right. And just wait, is there another thing right here? Anyway. I don't even know what this little thing here, that little sensor looking thing. But let's pop the SIM in really quick. I have a T-Mobile SIM. I don't know if it's still active. I doubt it is, but let's pop that in for now. And it's virtually the same like all the other iPhone models that had that thing. So that's not a problem. Um, one of the biggest reasons that I got uh, my new iPhone, the Face ID feature as you see here. Yeah, it got some water damage and that didn't work anymore. So I'm going to set that up. Ooh. Well, so far we're seeing the camera quality. All right, it says move your head slowly. Doing a quick setup. The camera quality is pretty good. Just with the face ID setup. Oh, guys, that was the craziest thing. Like Apple security is like ridiculous because I don't have my old phone with me. I don't have my laptop with me at all. So bro, it, it was ridiculous trying to get in without those stuff. But luckily I brought my Jamaican SIM. So anyway, that's that. Let's just jump into the camera really quick just to take a quick look um, to see what the camera looks like. I ain't gonna lie. This is, it looks super good so far. But anyway, I'm gonna drop on the case and stuff and then tomorrow we can do the vlogging. All right, so got the case on and everything and it looks really good feels really good feels really solid um for me i'm not a really a big fan of big phones but with the 12 max pro you know you're going to get a lot more better performance when it comes on to videos so anyway tomorrow we're going to start the day off and we're going to see how good the video quality is is it shaky will i get trembles because i don't have them you see i almost made the phone fall like i don't really have the steadiest of hands even though this feels quite steady in my hand right now but i'm gonna see if it's gonna catch any of the jitters and hopefully it has good motion stabilization so all right i'll catch you guys tomorrow all right so now we have unboxed the iphone and like a lot of us as creative persons we're very curious and we want to unbox the answers on how can we manipulate the iphone to the best of our ability or maybe is it enough of an equipment to start really youtubing now one of my favorite content creator who is yc imaging lucky enough he is on skillshare so we're going to check him out really quick uh type in a search box here yc imaging and there he goes he has 2204 followers which is pretty good now one of the reasons why i like his content work is skin tone so for me when it comes on to making videos sometimes i am not getting my skin tone the way it really is and when i watch his videos i realize he allows it to be captured the right way so i'm gonna jump into let's see one of his classes really quick to see and teaching section here boom all right, so I have already watched a couple of his classes. So already went through class one to six, but what I wanna show you guys today is actually building a gear list. Now in today's video is actually choosing the right equipment. So we definitely wanna know, do we want to have an iPhone, a camera, gimbal, lights? Do we need all of those before we can start making YouTube videos? So I'm gonna jump to section nine here. It says building a gear list and let's see what he has to say really quick. Now that we went through and created our shot list, it's now time to develop a list of equipment that we'll be using for the shoot. Depending on the overall budget for the project, your equipment list could be as small as just an iPhone in your pocket, to having a DSLR and a lens and a stabilizer and a light, to having a ton of light stands and... You see what I'm telling you? Using a platform like Skillshare is definitely gonna save you a ton of money. I've been there before. I've bought cameras that I never used for an entire year because I wasn't ready for that camera. And with Skillshare, all you're really spending is $10 a month on an annual subscription where you're gonna be unlocking your creativity and learning so much. 
so that you can get to the next level that you really want to get to. Now, I did say that I'm going to be giving you guys something today. So for the first 1000 persons that click on the link in the description box, you're going to be getting a free premium trial to Skillshare. So you can definitely go on there, learn some stuff. And if you love it, as a matter of fact, it's not even a question about if you love it, you're definitely going to love it. And there's a lot that you're going to be learning from it. Anyway, I'm going to get back to watching the rest of this class. And then I'm going to work on this edit right now. So you guys can see how I use the iPhone. So jump in the description box, get your gift. A ton of light stands and C stands and sandbags. This thing could get pretty serious, pretty fast, depending oh, on the budget that you have. Oh, how are you doing, man? Hurt, right? Yep. yep. Oh, yes. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, bro. You must be waiting for that. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> All right, so the camera is here guys definitely got a new camera yo shout out to all the people that watch the videos and stuff and make things happen laptop is over there as well but we're gonna get into the unboxing of this really quick um i am supposed to film on the iphone today to show you guys but yeah what's gonna happen only patrons are gonna see the unboxing of this because to be quite honest i for my patrons i always try to give them something different something new and some exclusivity so shout out to all the patrons i'll show you guys the unboxing of this actual camera here and for everybody else we'll just continue the video where you will see us um, cooking up some pastrami today and just seeing how good this iphone 12 pro max is yo what a long name man Anyway, let's get into the video. So right now, Kurt made me this beautiful looking pastrami. I'm gonna see how good it actually tastes. Now there's one thing about filming with the iPhone. Now, the front camera is never always as good as the rear camera. So right now I'm actually filming myself without actually seeing myself, if you get what I'm saying. Cause I'm not using the front camera, trying to get as much quality out of the phone as I can. Oh, you can hear the crispiness of this, of this thing, man. Sounds really good. It was quick and easy as those transitions there's a cinematics just now bro it's the cheese for me so it's baby swiss baby swiss yep mm -mm. it's actually better than i thought it would taste to be quite honest because it's very simple ingredients there's ketchup thousand island dressing thousand island and, little cake and, all right. mayo. and mayo and the bread bro if you had russian dressing that would be the ideal thing for it <laughs> so when you tell me what you're having for breakfast you you here living a life <laughs> lunch <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's good it's really good we made this in like what five minutes yep and good goes the kfc that i brought up how is it That's excellent as usual and your favorite is actually the, the barbecue, Barbecue, right? but I'll take what I can get. Oh my God. All 
All right, guys, so we're now heading to the Mac store right now um, to go pick up something. When I say Mac, I'm talking Apple, I'm talking makeup. <laughs> to go pick up um, a mouse for the laptop or whatever the case is. Um, yeah, I was messing with the camera just now that I got and you know, it was ridiculous. It's so complicated, but things take time to learn, especially with this camera, the 12 Max Pro. Right now I'm filming with a front-facing camera and it's a good quality. Um, you might be able to see the jitters from the shakes from my hand a little bit, but it's not so bad. Um, the stabilization has improved somewhat. Um, yeah, it's a little bit uncomfortable to hold the phone for very long for me. Um, things with the front camera, it's not gonna be as good a quality as the one at the back and you're not gonna be able to get the the super view right now you can't see Kurt none whatsoever so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch over to the rear camera put it into the wider field view and you should be able to see him let's see how that goes all right so now I am holding it with the rear cameras facing me I don't know if you can see Kurt because now I can't view find because there's no back camera to see whatever sardines. you know but maybe you can see him I'm gonna do a test and see but yeah it's a nicer field of view the camera quality gets a little bit better as well but anyway, we're heading to the Mac store to see if we can go, I'm not talking Mac makeup, talking the Apple store to go pick up um, some accessories really quick. All right, so now we're back to the front facing camera and you realize you're not able to see anyone to the side of me or even a car on the far side. Um, one thing I don't like about the front facing camera, even though you can see yourself, sometimes it's very distracting. When you're doing YouTube videos, it's good to look always in the lens and not on yourself. So that might be the nicer part about the rear view camera, but irregardless, yeah, that is what it is right now. Um, we're gonna be heading to the Mac store right now to go pick up some accessories, cause the laptop, everything is USB-C, and I couldn't even get to edit videos last night because everything I have is a typical USB. But anyway, I'm gonna head to the Mac store really quick, pick that up. If I'm lucky enough, I should be able to link up with Judah's mom sometime today. If not today, hopefully, fingers crossed, tomorrow. All right, so I am now back on the rear facing camera and we are walking towards the Apple store really quick. Um, one thing about the rear facing camera that I did realize if the camera is kind of upside it down or whatever, I don't even know which side is upside it down on the back, but the video is going to be in a flipped version, but it's no big deal. You can always edit that inside of the phone application and switch everything around. Um, yeah, guys, I don't know about you, but I just love going to the Apple store. Everything about Apple products is just, yeah, God, inside is just always white and just clean and just like full of detail. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are liking the quality from the 12 Pro Max. It should be very, very good. And you're going to get a great example of now, like the detailing in the back, you know, you'll see persons walking by. And that's very important for a vlog, especially if you travel vlog. You want to catch like the beach in the background. You want to catch like the restaurant in the backdrop or the architecture. So that's a good thing about the wide angle view. Anyway, let's get into the store. Yeah, so you might wonder what my friend dressed like Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold as hell, right? It's cold as hell. So you said we can't go inside the store? Uh, you'll see, they don't have it. You can't go in and browse and everything. That's why they have appointments only. Only appointments only? Yeah. Yo, this dude is in his full Adidas drip. Adidas. Pants, shoes. Is it is a vest Adidas? No. No? <laughs> Well, me, I like Adidas as well, so I got the same thing. The Adidas pants, shoes, um, jacket, or whatever. Um, right now, I'm walking, and we're just checking out like what the stabilization is like. It's not so bad, actually. It doesn't seem like the camera's just going all about. It has nice stabilization. Not as good as a GoPro or a gimbal, but it's pretty good. Yes. And then this is okay for the receipt? Yes, sir. You want a bag? Yes, please. Thank you. No problem. All right. All right, so we are now back in the car. Oh, and I did figure out which part is a top part without having to flip it in the phone. It's actually the singular select button, that's the top. So once you see that, you know that 
once you watch back the video it should be in the right perspective but whatever if you mistake that no big deal anyhow um we did pick up what we needed to get for the laptop yo big shout out to kurt because he got the apple card which has the um <laughs> did, did you do wait is it in super view mode i don't know oh yes it is it is in super view mode so i think you guys called that yeah i love shooting a super view mode because i just get to see a lot more detail so i don't have to be talking to him and doing you know doing a bunch of that i can catch basically everything that's happening to me anyway he got the apple card which has the the special deal so you get discounts and cashbacks and stuff so everything was ordered through kurt yo big shout out to my patron for helping me out with that i really appreciate it maybe in tomorrow's vlog i'm gonna be filming with the new camera i don't know because this camera is really really convenient i don't have to be thinking about the heavy camera lugging around with nothing i just have this in the pocket off my pants that sounds weird as hell but we're gonna work with that anyway i actually enjoyed filming on the 12 max pro i think it's a very good camera to start out with if you are a phone tete as you said in jamaica and things like that anyway very sweet things <laughs> love nature and adaptation and always remember Dude, you just swing in the car like this. Not hopefully bad. the car did hopefully the phone got good stabilization for that. <laughs> Keep the link. <laughs>